Hi fans and welcome back to Fibre Friday. Um, again, didn't think I have anything but obviously I've been doing stuff in my sleep. Um, but first of all, I've been making these bows um, because I have a crap air in November and um, I just thought it will be something different. So if I remove everything up here, then I can get them out for all different types of lace and stuff so I don't know how well there you go so this is some old stamping up ribbon which got me tired and I'm just gonna pop some buttons in these um just into the middle just to uh make them pop and then you know some of them don't need to but these will be good on top of presents and you know, if you're really clever, put a bow on the back, make them into embellishments and stuff like that. So, yeah, so lots of different styles of ribbon and things. I've done some smaller ones as well. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been busy doing as well. The kids are back at school, so there you go, there's one with a button inside. Kids are back at school, so I've been doing stuff in the car, waiting for them, for clubs and everything else. So, put them to one side. I have carried on with my crochet, crochet, and I've made quite a few flowers. I haven't put them together, um, so you know. So I've made some ooh, ones, I've made some orange ones and some yellow ones and blue ones and red ones. So yeah, so. I'll just keep on making them and then I'll throw them up into one big ball of fun, as we say. Um, so that's another project out of the way. And um, then on one of the sites I asked for some um, zips. So I've been really making some really dodgy looking flowers. And as you can tell, getting slightly better with them all. So, and again, you can put um, little pins on the back and make them into brooches. Brooches, I've made one into a brooch. I think it was the opposite side to there. So that is, again, ongoing. Um, Poet Spice gave us a challenge if we wanted to. Um, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, but just in case you were getting... Um, you know, you couldn't quite remember what you were supposed to be doing with your fabrics or you were getting rutted, um, stuck in a rut. Um, and this week's challenge was to make a bag. So I picked this pattern out. I've had it for years in my stash, not used it. I even had it cut out. So obviously I must have been thinking about using it at one point. Um, yeah, that's as far as I got with it. It's Everything's cut out. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks I might have that finished. And the last couple of things is I've been making some Halloween projects and I've been putting my fibres onto here. So I've made like a little, little wand here. I've got some like, I don't know, some fairy fabric on the back of that spider. On that one there. And then again, on this one I've done, you know, a couple of ribbon on there as well and some of this fairy green fabric. The Halloween stuff slowly getting out in the UK but do you know what? I'm not impressed with it really. I think we need to step up the game really. I meant not my creation, well it is my creation but I didn't think of it, is these little tiny, well I say tiny but big brooms and you can stand them up so they're really good around on your table or you can even put them onto your projects. So that one's got a big black scary spider on that one. And then this one here has got a cupcake topper which I've just cut the spike off and glued her onto a green ribbon on that one. So they'll stand up. So all good around your Halloween parties and stuff like that. So, so that's my projects for this week. Like I say, short and sweet this week. Um, 
Power Look of Uber Ladies listed down below. Um, if you like what you see, let us know. And uh, yeah, I'll be back uh, next week with another challenge. I, f I think it's to do with buttons and ribbon. But I'll have to double check my email. And uh, I may even have a bit of progress on my bag. Okay then, thanks for watching now. Bye!